Does Fousey really know Drake? Is the Hate Dies Love Arrives tour a real thing? And is Fousey's new act the real him or just an act? We're gonna try, try to answer some of those questions in this video. Welcome back to What's Trending. I'm Martine Bierman. Make sure to subscribe for more stories about love and positivity. In case you're completely uninitiated, Yusuf Arakat, aka Fousey, is a massively popular YouTuber with over 10 million subscribers. His greatest success came in the form of staged prank videos, such as this one where he dressed up like Sub-Zero from Mortal Kombat and acted like he was going to attack people. Test your might. <laughs> Or the farting gym instructor prank. Okay. Go. Harder. I'm so sorry. Uh, are you okay? <laughs> I think I sharted a bit. <laughs> That's just hilarious. But in recent weeks, he was primarily promoting a free event at the Greek theater in Los Angeles called Hate Dies, Love Arrives. He told Adam22 the whole thing was about spreading love and positivity and claimed it would be the next Coachella. And Fousey now says he considers himself an artiste, not a YouTuber. And he says that motivational speaking might be his next calling. And without saying it outright, Fousey heavily insinuated that Drake would appear and perform at his free event using Drake's image in connection with the show. And unfortunately, stop me if you've heard this one before, a free event by a YouTuber didn't exactly go as planned. Police say about 6.15, they got a call from a person claiming to have planted an explosive device at the theater. The LAPD decided to clear out the venue just in case and brought in the bomb squad. The bomb threat appears to have been an act of swatting from someone hoping to cause chaos at Fousey's event or at least shut it down. Fousey hadn't yet taken the stage, but he did speak to 1,500 or so fans who were already in attendance in the parking lot. No matter who tries to stop us, it's not a mistake. It was supposed to happen. Something bad could have happened at that event. God didn't want it to. I wanted that event to be a success tonight. I wanted my picture with Drake. I met Drake last night. <laughs> Wait till I tell y'all that <laughs> story. <laughs> but shocker, Drake never turned up, and it turns out Fousey had never actually met him. Sources close to Drake told The Blast that Drake was never booked to perform at the event and that he definitely doesn't know the guy and this is the first he's ever heard of him. So I get it. If you positively think about the fact that somebody could show up at your show, then maybe they'll just be there. That's obviously how this all works, this whole motivational thing. That question was sort of answered on an hour-long live stream on Adam22's No Jumper podcast. As soon as Drake moves and makes eye contact with me and I stare at him, I see the, his second right-hand man and he nods at me like this. I did it, I was hyped. So I you said, didn't meet Drake, he just looked at you. Literally like this. That's how close he was to me. Okay. So even though he is considering the event a success, he admits that Drake was never actually booked for the show because he'd never actually met Drake in the first place. And major props to Phil DeFranco for highlighting Shane Dawson's reactions throughout, which are hilarious. Of his event. Also, side note, Shane's reactions to everything that's happening is everything. Hungry, knowing that I left Drake. My but instead of taking that moment to be, that's how close he was to me. Now, in this interview with Adam22, Fousey talks a lot about vague things like energy and manifestation and putting things into the world. I say exactly what I want to happen and that's what gets it to happen. So I wanted, I started July 15th a week ago just by putting it on a shirt. And with that one idea and energy and manifestation, every single thing I put, is happening, but not in the way I wanted it to. Ultimately, it's a little unclear as to what his actual goal was, but if he wants to be a motivational speaker, then power to him. He's also said he set a goal to make $100 million by January 1st, 2019. Dude, that's in like five months, and that's Tony Robbins' money. I am so excited to see this whole thing pan out. I hope he does it. There are so many ins and outs to this story, we won't have time to get into it, but Keemstar says he's making a documentary about the event, the first part of which is already up on his Drama Alert channel. And if you're in the LA area, Fousey says he's hosting another Hate Dies, Love Arrives event 
event on August 15th in the Los Angeles area, which he's hinted will be at the Staples Center. He also released a diss track aimed at Rice Gum, which he was apparently planning to perform on stage at the Greek. Can I get on your album maybe? And believe it or not, YouTube roused about Sam Pepper was there as well and got arrested. Though, if you hear his side of it, he claims that Fousey's own people were the ones who got him in trouble as a possible suspect in the bomb threat. Country's holding me, holding me, holding me, and he starts shouting, Officer, 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 officer. And I'm like, what the f The police come over, and they instantly put me in handcuffs, right? They get my arms behind my back. But with all of his love and positivity, Fuzzy was not forthcoming with an apology to Sam Pepper. <laughs> Count how many times I called him, flipped him off, told him he's a little sucker in real life, and he's a on the internet. And I'll give you guys, like, put up a thing. I'll throw a party in LA and throw a pizza party for you guys. I'll order that many pizzas in honor of this little bitch. Me about this in the chat forever. Bro, your life is ruined after Please, this, guys. Don't We've even got PewDiePie talking about him now in a very critical video titled, This is Why You Shouldn't Be a YouTuber. He's the kind of YouTuber whose ego is so big that literally he can't not take any form of criticism. And I'm sure he's gonna watch this video going, oh my god. PewDiePie talked about me, guys. Wow, I'm such a big deal. No. So, does Fousey have really good intentions and want to spread positivity and love? Absolutely. Probably. But his ego and his desire for, like, otherworldly success and his constant need to name drop? I'm in talks with Lenny S, who's DJ Khaled's manager, who runs Rock Nation, who manages Jay-Z. I have Lenny S's mentorship in this. Tyler Perry is helping me through this. OVO Johnny who's OVO Ryan's brother, who's in Drake's team, who gave me this tattoo at OVO's tattoo shop, was FaceTiming me every five minutes to see how it was going. <laughs> Is that stuff getting in his way? Probably. Yeah. So what do you guys think about this whole thing? Is he gonna reach his financial goal? Is Hate Dies, Love Arrives Part 2 going to be the place to go? Let us know in the comments, and for more trends, head to whatstrending.com.